if you haven't seen the new Miley Cyrus Flowers video, um, what what have you been doing? Uh, because I saw it and I want that dress. You know the dress. I want the dress and I want it as a skating dress because that's what I do. Oh. So I went to the fabric store and look what I found. <laughs> oh. It's not the best fabric for this project. Um, it's only a two-way stretch, but I think I can make it work. It's one of these fabrics that's kind of weird where like one side frays and the other side doesn't. I guess it's kind of like crochet. I've been crocheting. Do you want to see my crocheting? Oh, oh. This is the gonna be like a, like an arm sort of warmer thing. I haven't totally decided how it's gonna go. I was just practicing different styles of stitches. Anyways, show and tell's over. So what I think I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to make like a bodysuit type thing underneath. So I'm just gonna use some like black spandex and then mesh in the middle and then do something with this. I don't know exactly what, we're just going with it. And I'm going skating tomorrow, so I have to have this done by tomorrow and it's 10.36 p.m. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I wanted to quickly show my plan of action. This is the dress, if you can uh, see it. I'm gonna do a bodysuit underneath. I'm gonna add mesh to the cutouts because that's like figure skater E, And um, the top and bottom, I have sort of this black lining fabric. So I'm just gonna do that. It's also gonna be shorter. I'm thinking of making it like an ice dancer dress because the song sort of goes with the silver samba ice dance. Then it's kind of like a little bit symbolic because, you know, you're ice dancing alone. <laughs> I'm going to use the same pattern that I use pretty much every time. And it's actually a gymnastics leotard pattern. But this one, the Jaggy 3026. It's the... It's the classic. I don't know, I feel like it's just like a really solid one that works for me, so we're sticking to that one. The other patterns that I do have, usually I reuse my patterns, but they don't quite fit. Well, no, they fit, but like, they don't quite fit what I'm doing right now. This pattern is in a couple parts, but I just combine them as I draw them on. So it should be fine. Oh my god, what's my measurements? I think I fit the size S. We'll go with that. Using tracing paper for this thing, for this kind of thing, is so much easier than what I was doing before. So, um, yeah, do that. So this dress, I didn't mention, it's an East Side of Hot from 1991. All right, so I roughly cut out a front and back piece, very plain because I'm going to kind of mock it up and then alter it from there. I realized that I did not plan out how I was gonna get in and out of this dress. Maybe the shoulder. The top of the dress is a little bit, like you can't really see it much because of like the hood part. So, um, I'm kind of just gonna wing it. I'm just gonna mock this up on this lining fabric and I need some mesh. Oh, this is not mesh. Where's my mesh? I need some mesh. I think I have enough. I hope so. I was just at the store. I'm just cutting this out with my rotary cutter and then to put it together I'm just gonna use a basting stitch so that I could take it out once I do my little alterations. This is my base. I have a few little changes to make at the bottom here. I got in with one sleeve, but I'm just gonna mark where my cuts are gonna go. I'm gonna lower the neckline just a little. It kind of comes to a point down like maybe an inch under the belly button. I'm not used to having the belly button part out, especially on like a skating dress. And then the sides go quite high up. We want to give that sort of exaggerated V effect. So my hip bones are here. And normally you would put a skirt sort of here. But we're going to go sort of where, like almost at the waist, I think. That's going to be cut up to there. Now what side is which? It looks like the left side is the side where it sort of swoops down down to. So we sort of need to find the spot up here on this side. It's gonna go from here down to here. And then the back is just, it's sort of high. Don't mind this part. I'll fix it. <laughs> Maybe right here. Don't 
stab myself, please don't stab me. <laughs> Taking this apart, it's really easy to do because it's just a basing stitch. And you can almost just like pull them out actually, like this. <laughs> We're like on the floor here. <laughs> I haven't posted in a while. I've been meaning to. Uh, last year I was really wanting to post more and you know, it's on me not to, but at the same time, I sort of, I ended up, I guess, ah, it's hard to talk about. I ended up in a relationship that ended up being kind of all-consuming, you know? And I believed in it. I really believed in it. And I, I, I thought I was doing the right thing. And I guess this song really sort of, you know, hit at the right time <laughs> because... You know, that relationship ended, and for a long time I was really angry. Having some anger, but also, you know, being in a much better place now. And it's just, it's, it's honestly kind of crushing, because I had never believed in a relationship like that before. And, you know, that's how it goes. So when I sort of saw the song in the video and stuff, I thought it was a good a good moment for me to like start these up again maybe in a bit more casual way because I end up you know over complicating things and I've been sitting on a video for like a year that's just like half done and I just could not bring myself to do it so we're gonna do more of these like fun ones you know all right so I'm being a little messy about this but I just outlined the line with uh, chalk and now I'm just gonna cut this section out. Um, I'm not being super, super precise because it's gonna get covered anyway. Yeah, so this is my top piece, and then here's the bottom piece, and that's gonna be the mesh cut out. This is the look at the back. Here's the mesh cut out, you can kind of see it. And I'm going to iron on a type of stabilizer, baste it, and then do a zigzag all the way around till I'm done. After that, I'll put together the bodysuit and we can move on to the next part. Um, I made such a dumb mistake. Oh my god. I have to show you. Can you see? Can you see the multiple issues there are with this picture? <laughs> like, they look good. But, uh, that's the back piece, and that's the front piece, first of all. And then, second of all, <laughs> they're, <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> they don't connect. Oh my gosh, how did I, how did I do that? <laughs> uh, and it's like 2.30 a.m. I noticed it a while ago, but I sort of had a moment of, like, I need a snack, you know. That just feels so dumb. It's just so dumb. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said that I don't make mistakes like this often, because I do. But I thought I was being careful. What the heck? Oh gosh, I don't know if I'm gonna have this done for tomorrow. It might have to wait a few days to wear on the ice. I think the front piece I can just cut, I can just cut the neck, I'm pretty sure it's like pretty much the same. Or I could just sew them together with one on the wrong side, and then cover it with my gold fabric. It's these kinds of moments where it like hits me hard when I make mistakes, and when I sit for a little bit, I'm like, I really want to give up. Like, I really want to scrap it, give up. I'm like be done like I can't I can't do it I suck like all this stuff and I found myself like getting better at just sitting with it for a little bit often getting a snack and then reassessing and then finishing it and it actually turned out great so I'm still hopeful okay so I've decided I'm going to just cut this like the front like it's supposed to be and then I'm gonna sew this wrong side to right side because it's all gonna get covered up anyways like if I were to make this for someone else I'd redo it but for me like it's all gonna be hidden anyways and I don't want to redo it 
I think it, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. It's, don't just don't look. Don't look. <laughs> but make sure you plan out your pieces properly. Unlike me. It's a new day. I missed my deadline, but don't worry about it. Okay? I sewed down the sides and I was looking at my reference picture again. You can see it here. And um, upon further inspection, it looks like it, the top part is goes across like this. It's hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure it's not like two, two straps here. It's like one strapped. So my neckline part doesn't even really matter. And it goes down to the point that is lower. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna cut that. So that's one problem solved. The other problem solved will solve later. I'm gonna sew the gusset down and add elastic to the leg holes real quick, real easy. You know, nothing complicated. Nothing complicated there. The bottom is done. Wow. <laughs> there, and then I also did this top part with an elastic going around here. And I'm gonna try it on, so just sick. This is where we're at. The armhole still needs elastic here, but that's gonna go on with the gold part. Oh, uh, so this is like the under base layer. So it's all gonna get covered, I realized. As I, just as I put this on, that um, I've mirrored imaged it, so it's the wrong side, I think. Yeah, but whatever. I mean, I'm a reversey, so it's gonna be mirror imaged, right? Yeah, so on to the next part, the gold part. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna have to think about it a little bit, but it's only one way stretch, so it stretches this way. So I'm going to put the stretch along this side, and I need to figure out how I'm gonna shape it and tack it down. I'm probably just gonna like wing it a little bit. <laughs> I feel like so much of this is going wrong and it's really representative of my life right now, I'm not gonna lie. We're still gonna do it. We're gonna do it wrong but we're still gonna do it. I've been staring at this for a while and I shortened this top part because it was a little bit too loose for me and I've decided that I'm going to do the armhole before adding anything else because I was thinking originally to add the gold fabric into it but I think the gold fabric is just going to get sort of like draped on top in a way. Hopefully in a way where I can still get in and out of it. I'm a little bit nervous. That'll be the tricky part, you yeah, know. So let's just add, I'm just going to add an elastic for the top part here. And for the armhole, I'm using a thinner elastic. This one took a bit of a thicker one. Here's the completed bodysuit with the back panel the wrong way. Um, it's got all the elastics. The shape is looking pretty decent. It feels good too. I've thought about what I'm gonna do with this. You want to put the direction with the most stretch around this way, not up and down because that's not as necessary. But this, especially to like get in and out of the dress, is gonna be tricky. We just like do this. This is how we get gathers. Tilt sideways till you have enough of this. So I'm thinking maybe like this length three times ish. So it's this length and this length. So it's maybe like doubled the length shrunken up. Then it's gonna go down into here. Cut a section and we'll just fiddle. Fiddle. <laughs> I'm gonna start cutting some stuff. Do I know where? Not really. That's okay. Sometimes, you know, you just gotta like try stuff. Try stuff and then fix it until it gets better. <laughs> it's just like fixing, fixing, fixing. Sometimes things are good enough. Ignore this, by the way. This is the epitome of my insanity. <laughs> I have like 50 million projects going on. And this one isn't even my top priority. But Often, I can't do stuff unless I'm doing other stuff at the same time, you know? And I used to struggle a lot with that because I would, like, I would force myself to finish a project before starting anything else. But then I'd be, like, struggling with a project and all I wanted to do was other things. And I find if I do a little bit of everything all at once, that everything sort of gets done. So that's how we... <laughs> So that's how we roll. So ignore, like, my disaster. I, I tend to hide my mess, I hide my chaos, and I don't want to hide anymore. We're, we're embracing the chaos as a part of the process, as a part of the healing, because I have problems. 
<laughs> and that's okay. It's okay to have problems. Okay, let's get back to cutting. Oh my god, we're gonna go for a general curve. 16 inches scrunched up. Let's go 17. We do 17 inches just to be safe. We can always cut more, but we can't uncut. I got more fabric than I needed for this on purpose because I make mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes. It's good to make mistakes. Mistakes is how you learn. We're we're learning. We're creating opportunities. That's what we're doing. Okay, this fabric is very slippy. Four inches here, so we start here. So. Okay, that's the cut. Have you seen the approximate right here? 17 again. <laughs> it must be a sign. I was gonna tilt it the other way. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Oh well, it's gonna be like this. If it doesn't work, I still have fabric to work with. Okay. Bow. This is my front panel. Um, I just need to iron this out, see how it's like that. I mean, it probably won't be seen so much, but I'll just do it anyways. I'll do another one like this, mirrored for the back. And then we'll, I'll probably sew up here and sort of mess with it a little bit as we go along. It's so shiny. This fabric is like a lot of little dots. I have this take this off so I surged just the top here I zigzagged the bottom because this is the side that frays this point here that I sewed is meant to be gathered up by pulling it like pulling it together Woo creating some little little gathery but it's which is supposed to be the length of approximately this part here like that. I just pulled this tight and now I'm just gonna tie a knot to secure it. I'm gonna go over it afterwards. Okay, that looks legit. <laughs> ah! Okay, exciting. Sorry. Whew, got a little bit excited there. I knew it was gonna be a bit long, so I could adjust the back side approximately here, like that. So I need to take off that much fabric from the front. How about from the back? The shape of the back that needs to be cut is a bit different than the front. Makes sense, because the front is different than the back. From here to sort of here to the pin, that needs to be cut off. I cut those two sections off, and I'm gonna base the other side, like I did for this, along this edge. I tied a knot at the top, and then we're going to do the exact same as the other side. Scrunching, scrunching, scrunching. I need to double check my reference pictures as I'm doing this right. You know when it's like on MasterChef or whatever, they're like, you gotta remember to taste as you go. And this, I gotta remember to look at the reference picture as I go. Because I forget to do that. And that's how I'm been getting myself into trouble. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Oh! That's actually pretty good. <laughs> so I'm gonna tack these down just on my machine because it's only a basting stitch holding them in place and that's not gonna hold anything for long. Um, and at the same time while sort of adjusting the gathers so that they're a little more even. Here's one of the sides I'm tacking down, so I'm just gonna sew down there. I've secured both of the sides down pretty good and I've been thinking about how I'm going to go about attaching this to the top and I want to do it in a way where you can't really see a whole bunch of stitching. I'm going to turn this inside out. Oh, my plan, this is it's kind of like thinking of like a 3D puzzle in my brain um on how like what's the order of operations of how to go about this i'm going to start by sewing the top opening of the cutout here that goes with the bottom part here and i'm going to do this inside out so i'm going to 
do it like this, I think. And then sew along, if this makes sense, <laughs> sew along here with a zigzag. And then this is gonna flip up. And then I'm going to sew this. Here, wait, no, I need to think about it again. <laughs> wait, no, I, oh my gosh, wait, wait, okay, wait, 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 let me, let me think, let me think about this. So I'm gonna start by sewing this part, like I said. And then I'm going to sew the top part, attach it to the top part, leaving this opening open. And I think that I'll be able to flip it around through here. And then I'll deal with the armhole last because I'll probably top stitch it. If that even works. Okay, my brain is hurting from thinking too, too much, you know? We gotta do. And then we fix it, like I was saying before. Also, this is another crocheted project that I've started before finishing the other one, obviously. It's gonna be like a, a mini tote bag. Oh, but look at how these rectangles, these rectangles, look at how these squares are looking really good. I kind of want to do a crocheted skating dress. Should I do that next? I don't know. I don't know. I have too many ideas. I need to finish this one. Here's the bottom part sewn on. I'll show you this side. And I think I figured out how I'm gonna do this. So to attach the top part, uh oh, I've lost the, the bodysuit. To attach the top part to the bodysuit, I think it's like this I'm gonna do it. So I'm going to open it this way. This is the armhole, so this way. And I'm going to sew the top part like this. It's hard to show, but like this onto here, all the way around through the opening of the armhole, if that makes sense. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's going to sew these two top parts together like that all the way, but like under, but like through here. Math, math, ugh. It's, it's a headache, I know, it's a headache. I hate it. Kinda like it, but kinda hate it. You know, when it works well, it's good, but when it doesn't work well, it's the most frustrating thing ever. Oh. Moment of truth to see if I did this right. I think I did it, oh, I did it right. Nice. And it looks scrunchy now, but once it's on, it won't be scrunched up. And I just, I noticed this one sort of loosened up as I was working and stuff, but I am going to tack the sides down from the outside with a zigzag. I have a gold thread and I'll use that for the two sides and the top. But before that, we need to do the armhole. I think I'm just gonna stretch it like this, fold it, and then I'm going to zigzag all the way around with the gold one on top. I can stretch this just until <laughs> the width of this. Wow, good job me. I like when things actually go to plan. Now that's a scary place to be. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is what it looks like all pinned. And this is how it looks like once it's sewn. It needs a little bit, a little bit of adjusting. I feel like we're getting somewhere. I'm probably going to tack it down sort of under these like folds. Really sort of shape it a little bit better, especially up here at the top. But it is cool. Does it look like the dress? Is it starting to? I think it is. It took me some time to fiddle around with it, but I think it looks a lot more streamlined. I just put some like little tacks along here and took it in a little bit. On the sides, a few tacks here and there. We're onto the skirt, oh my gosh. So I've been looking at it, thinking about it, and what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to sew it sort of along the line that I already created from the underside. And I'm probably gonna cut 
this at the back so that it's a bit of a slope. I mean, this looks cool. Okay, that's attached here. I think that looks pretty good. It now needs to be sort of uh, scrunched up and tucked in different ways, see, to give that like waistband effect. And then, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. It sort of crosses over here to leave this out front. Oh! I'm like tripping over. It's like having like a giant, a giant train. <laughs> That's giving Zendaya, okay? Like this? Yeah. I mean, now I just want a floor length dress, honestly. Now that would not work on the ice, but it's fun. I was just looking at the video again, and look, on her... On that side, there's a strap. There's a strap here this whole time. And I missed it. Do with that information what you will. Can you see? It does co go quite far down here. So it looks like it's like from the waist. If you can see. Oh. Looks like it goes from the waist to like about here. That it's sort of cinched up. The issue that I'm dealing with is if I have this come down too low, I'm worried that it's going to fly up. I don't want it to be too awkward on the ice. It is already a little bulkier than I would normally do, but I like the look. Like I like how this sits. Anyways, I think that is pretty good. I'm going to pin this and just sort of sew, sew in a way to keep it up. I don't know how to explain it. I don't- that's the best I'm gonna give you. <laughs> you don't get anything else. <laughs> Look how shiny this is in the light of the sewing machine. Oh my goodness. So I'm basically- I pin different places and I'm just sewing back and forth and back and forth to tack them down. This is the best I can do. Giving it a little bit of the waist shape up. I'm like stepping on my skirt. Ugh. Pretty happy with that. No. Okay, I keep stepping on this. Where are my scissors? I need to cut this. Where are my scissors? This is me like 70 million times a day. I found them. I keep losing everything these days. Fabric scissors. Okay, just cut it here just to get the, the length off. I should probably take this off to do this, but I, I just want to cut it. Imagine I screw it up. Uh. All right, I am trainless. I can finally move. Ah, I'm scared to cut. I'm so scared. Okay, how long does an ice and stress usually end up? Like it, it's sort of past the knee, right? This is my first big cut. It's ended up a little shorter than I was in initially intending, but it just like, for some reason, longer skirts do start to look heavy on me. It's just I don't want to make I don't want it to make me look short. Because <laughs> if your skirt is too long and it cuts your legs off, then it makes you look shorter. And us figure skaters were already short enough, so I'm liking this diagonal sort of moment. Thinking of cutting this a little shorter here. And then this, and it almost does like a, a circle. This is pretty much ready to go. So you're gonna see it on the ice.
think it turned out pretty good. It's actually one of the most comfortable dresses I think I've ever made on the ice. Like, I had no issues with this falling or anything like that. And yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe! Where's the hole on that one?